headed down to Hazel Green, Kentucky to investigate the Kentucky Wolfman. We're talking like a seven foot, 500 pound wolf. We're gonna build a cage to catch the Wolfman. Hoorah! Hey! Keep that thermal up there. What the heck is this? That's a kill site. We're figuring out what his territory is, so we're closing in on him. We got shit going on all around. The hair standing up on the back of my neck. Come on. Go, 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 go. Get in, let's go. Oh, where's he at? I think I see the wolf bass. For generations, the Appalachian Mountains have had more sightings of mysterious creatures than anywhere else in the United States. Let's do this. What was that? We need backup. Now, a band of hardcore hunters and trappers right there, right there, right there. are out to identify these unexplained creatures. When folklore bites back and leaves a trail of proof, one team of native West Virginian sons seeks the truth. We're headed down to Hazel Green, Kentucky to investigate the Kentucky Wolfman. Wolf County. Wolf County has to be a place for a wolf man. You think? I'm trapper. I spend probably 250 days a year in the woods, to hunting big white tails and bear. It's my life. I believe it was 2006 we started Ames. That's Appalachian Investigators of Mysterious Sightings. We check out mysterious sightings from Pennsylvania uh, down through Georgia. We've been every place. We had like three reports of uh, wolf-type creatures down there Jeff's come up with. We're coming upon Hazel Green, and that's where the Kentucky wolf man is to be. There's old silver mines. Uh, 1760, when the first silver mine was found, I believe that that's where it's hanging out. It's hiding there. This wolf man, wolf creature, wolf monster, you're talking like a seven foot, 500 pound wolf. Wolf man? He likes to kill, and he does nothing but kill. Has it been a long time there? You know, actually, there's been some really strong reports from the 70s clear up through in the 2000s to current date. And they're basically in Wolf County. People actually lock their doors and stuff down there at night and won't go outside if they're that feared of it. They've had sightings for years. It's, it's even got a fantastic folklore following story. They're saying it's like a barilla cross between a bear and a gorilla because of the hair. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he's supposed to be bipedal. <laughs> I love it when Jeff uses words I have no idea what they mean. <laughs> he stands up on his hind legs and runs like hell and kills everything in sight. There you okay, go. Now, there, right, break it down and redneck part. I got that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. I'm Trapper. Our, Our first good? meeting in Hazel Green is going to be a true outdoorsman, a trap shooter named R. He actually had an eyewitness sighting of the Wolfman. I really want to see where you saw it at. Let's okay. do it. All right. I like to be outside. I like to hunt. Mostly, I like to hunt birds. We have an expression where we shoot. If it flies, it dies. I come up here a couple times a week and shoot. We were in this area right here. I was looking over through there and about where that tree is at a 45 degree angle. There's a white spot on it. It was in that area right there. It was obvious to me it was large and it was dark. I could only see it from probably mid torso up. Still couldn't tell what it was until it got into the clear and I got a good look at it. It looked like a huge wolf. This thing was on its back legs. Can you give us some kind of idea, you know, height, size? It was something that was in the neighborhood of seven foot tall, probably 400 pounds. What color was it? It was about the color of coyotes in this area with a little more dark in it across the shoulders and down the back. It was not scared, and it gave me a very uneasy feeling. I didn't know whether to be afraid of it or not. Most animals, especially a predator animal, would just head for high country when they start hearing gunfire close to him, which uh, this creature uh, came in to check it out. Buck, you go down there what tree you think it was, and we'll take a look at you. And, uh, I ain't tall enough. 
I understand I'm the young pup, but he likes to pick at that a little bit. I'll just add two foot to it. Okay. What's, what's true? What can I say? He's an old guy. That's the way they was raised. Hey, Buck! Buck! What? Move around a little bit. <laughs> now walk over to that tree right there. <laughs> over to the tree on your left. <laughs> Who's left? Put your hands up on the tree and walk over there. Which tree? The one on your left. There's 75 the on your trees. Right. Your other left. 20 foot to your right. Yeah, there you go. Y'all are going to <laughs> to where I was going, dummy. There we go. Now reach up there like seven or eight feet. <laughs> I can't reach seven or eight feet, Santa Claus. Let's get this together. All right, All right. All right Buck. <laughs> How's that? The low end on the totem pole always gets picked on, so we pick on Buck. It's like having a teddy bear. Hey, guys. Hey, guys, come here. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Y'all see it? See something rubbed up against that tree. He was only four fours, and he was rubbing just about like that right there. That'd make him a good four foot to his back. How do you know Bear didn't scratch his back on that? Look at this, old Bear just, just right up on that. You know what I mean? <laughs> you want me to tell you why? Why? Because the first thing you'll do is go up there and scrap that tree right like that before he rubs on it. And damn little bear, a little bear be rubbing up this high. The rub would be up here. It wouldn't be down there. And the scratch marks would be up here. Now, do you understand? I got you. Our story was good. I think we better come back out here tonight and see if we can get some more evidence. We're going to find the wolf man and uh, yeah, we're going to report I, I, I back need to here. know what this is. And if okay. you guys can help me, I'd appreciate it. We're out here in the middle of the night because it's absolutely the best time to investigate a predator, and the wolf man's a predator. We did our first interview with R today here in Wolf County, Kentucky, and uh, we're just starting up in here right now. And this first night investigation, we're looking for any sign of evidence of the Kentucky wolf man. Danger is unreal. This thing is huge. It's powerful, quick. It could be on top of you and take two or three of us out in no time. Now, if it starts charging, she wants to go ahead and start shooting. Once you start shooting and you put one in him, he's coming. So be careful on that starting shooting Just follow my lead. <laughs> Eastern Kentucky is noted for their caves. So I'm looking for a rock overhang where he can find shelter. I'm looking for trails, tracks, scat, hair, anything that I can pick up to nail that he's in here. There are some tracks here. There's one right here. Well, we got we got coyotes. Yeah. See it right there? Yeah. See him right here? Yeah. See him right there? Yeah. He's a couple days old. Yeah, that's a 45-pounder. These are the balls. His feet's on back here, so he push them back down here. See how that's nice and level there? We're padding down. Yeah. Canine don't pull his toenails yeah. in like a cat. As a researcher, I've spent years researching different things, different hunts, different tracking. If you don't know your animals, and if you don't know what you're doing, you're never going to be able to track a creature. Are you, are you picking up anything on the thermals? That's nothing so far. Thing could be right above us. Make sure you keep that thermal on, Jeff. Keep that thermal up there. Is that claw marks right there? And four claw marks right there? Is that claw marks? Looks like it, don't it? Yeah. See it right here? Yeah. With this big overhang laying over top of us, we are very susceptible to any predator getting on us from that vantage point. He get his claws in right there, and then where he, you can see where he slipped and got a hold right there? Yeah. Going right up along right there. There could easily be something up above us, watching us, stalking us, you know. Something could easily have its eye on us. We could be its next meal. I ain't no coyote went up there, I can tell you that. That's a spooky situation. Guys, keep alert. Thing could be right above us. Whoa, what's that up there? Y'all see this? Let's go up there and check that out. We're gonna ride around a rock right over here. 
my years of experience tells me is this is a place where he could den up. I'm going to have to go up in there and check that out. Move slow. Watch around that corner, Trapper. If he's right there, he can get you. Look where that moss is knocked off right there. Oh, look in here. Look at this. Easy, easy. Look here, look here. Whoa! What the heck is this? This is unreal. We're in a, a really rough, rough part of Kentucky. We've been getting a massive amount of reports of Wolfman sightings, and that's what's brought us here tonight. I think we're going to get some really good results. Watch around that corner, Trapper. If he's right there, he can get you. Look where that moss is knocked off right there. Oh, look in here. Look at this. Easy, easy. Look here, look here. Whoa! What the heck is this? My God, that's a kill site. Holy, is that a cow? That's a cow. Good everything, Buck. I led the team right up into this little crevasse right over here. We circled around this rock, walked right straight in to his damn feeding area. This is the biggest bone yard I've ever found. <sighs> that's unreal, isn't There's it? There's a deer carcass, another cow, ribs. Look here at the femur bone. That son of a bitch is big enough. He had a drug an 800 pound steer in here. Let me tell you what I know. That son of a bitch can pull down a 1,000 pound steer and run down a 40 mile an hour coyote. Whatever he did this, I've never encountered a creature yeah. like that. I can't believe it's big enough to drag back a bull. The wolf man's a lot bigger, stronger, faster than I ever can see. This is gonna be dangerous. We're up against a predator that no human being should be up against. These bones are bleached out. He just hadn't been here for a while. This, there's none of, none of this side I'm reading that's fresh song. The son of a bitch is a mountain monster, and we're on his ass. Yes, we are. I am on my way to go meet Willie because we're going to go get metal to build this trap. Um, I'm not real sure why we're not going to the hardware store, because it was only two miles from the house, and this is 12 miles from the house. I'm Willie. My role is, it's kind of like the MacGyver. I can actually build a trap that can hold anything. We're going to build a cage to catch this creature. We're going to have to have heavy iron, heavy steel. And uh, salvage yard right here is the best place to get it from. We're building a drop cage trap. Usually use it to catch a larger uh, predator, like a bobcat or a coyote or something of that nature. But to be able to catch this wolf, man, I'm going to have to go way bigger. Ah, uh, gold mine here, Buck. Yeah. Are you MacGyver or a picker? I'm telling you. Perfect. Square tubing, dude. That's the, that's the structural strength we're after right there. Somebody dumped a bunch of good stuff. There's a walker. Use that, too. Well, it's not going to be strong enough. I wasn't thinking for that. I was thinking for my grandma. Willie can make a trap out of anything. You know, he's kind of old school. He wants to use stuff that, you know, it's already proven. You know, he don't want to go buy something new whenever he can just go here, get stuff that's good enough, and make it work. Right there, Buck, up on top of that. Every trap that we go in to build, no matter how small the creature is, how big it is, it's always the greatest challenge. Why hey, would man. somebody throw this away? Oh, because we need it. <laughs> that's why they did. But this is the idea of the frame that I was talking about. Right. This okay. is what they would have put around the motor boxes. Yeah. Oh, my thump! Oh, <laughs> it's around these old motor boxes at the plants. This is perfect. I mean, perfect. I always like getting Buck. I know Buck is the rookie of the team. Buck is super strong. Watch your touch, right? I think I got enough everything to put together. We're going to head back to the shop, and I got to get started and get this thing welded together. Let's get this thing built. It's going to be definitely tall enough, heavy enough to be able to capture this wolfman. Need a spare tire? <laughs> what I need is that big drum. Set that out and turkey hunt right out of it. <laughs> We're getting ready to go meet this man named Turtle Man. Our first eyewitness, R, is only about two miles from here. Jeff tells me Turtle Man has video, personal sighting of the wolf creature. 
Got some big woods here. It's a good hike up in here, about out of wind. I heard that. <laughs> I'm Trapper. I'm Turtle Man. They call me the Turtle Man. I live strictly off the land. I eat groundhog, possum, skunk, coon, not skunk, but yeah. coon. Yeah, all groundhog's the best eating of all. Groundhog is delicious. Oh, they're good. Yeah. So this is where it all happened at, huh? This is where it happened at. Jeff was telling me you have a video when we get to where we can see it. Yeah, I've got a video. I'd like to show you. Yeah, yeah, I was up here looking for maple syrup trees, and I noticed that uh, lightning had stuck in trees right there. So I brought out my video, and I wanted to show my wife that it's very seldom you ever see a strike that will hit that many trees all at one time. Gee, man, that's pretty wicked. Look at that. That, that rolled that tree, that's for sure. All of a sudden, I felt something was watching me. And I seen this wolf-like creature. It just popped up right there in front of me, and it didn't get down on all fours. It stayed on its two hind feet and just walked right over the bank outside into that big holler. Bipedal, huh? Huh? Bipedal. And it walked over the bank? It walked over the bank. I've lived in the woods all my life, and I've seen just about everything there is to see out there. But this thing, I've never seen before. How big was it? I'd say it's about seven foot tall. So it's a pretty heavy animal. I mean, a bear I know, a, a wolf I know, a mountain lion I know, this I didn't know what it was. Yeah, that's what scared me. I mean, it scared me bad. And when it walked away, I ran away the other way. I it, probably would have too. <laughs> yeah, it, it was bad. Well, let's see that video. Oh, that's yeah. what I would say. Look there. Goodness. And Turtle Man's an excellent witness. He sighted this creature, and we're wanting to see what evidence he has. Look there. Oh, oh my goodness. My good. What kind of creature do you think that is? I have no idea. <laughs> Don't that look like a wolf to you? It looks like a wolf, yeah. yeah. Everything you've been telling us. It was broad. It was at least three foot across the back. And this creature had to be somewhere like 350 to 500 pounds. It was a monster. Everything he was pointing out to us, the terrain, how the animal is, is reacting to a, a, another human being in the woods, I'm really sold that this is real. We've got an actual sighting. Right there's where you've seen it. Yeah, right there. It, it just started right there and just went right straight over by that tree right there. That's how I know the height of it. Right there's the mark where I seen its head. Oh, uh, hold your hand right there. I want to get a I want to get a measurement on this. It's a good 90 inches, isn't it? Yep. It's unreal. That's that's big. Well, one thing I'm seeing here, guys, he was turned more like this. because you've seen the curve in his back, so he had to be turned sideways to you. Well, he was uh, until he got to right here by the tree, and then he turned to go oh, down the hill. Oh, he turned his shoulders like this. Yes. That's what impresses me is it went over the hill yeah. on two feet. Yeah. Because that's a pretty steep. And I hope ground. I never see anything like it again. I don't blame you a bit. <laughs> scared me to death. I do not blame you a bit. From what Turtle Man has told me, and the research that I've done, they're all coming together. And and this is real. I, I'm I'm positive it's a wolf man. I'd like for people to realize that these animals are out there. I've got it on film. Now if somebody else can verify this, that'll mean a lot more. Yeah, that's why we're here. Yeah. All right, I appreciate that. that. I yeah. really appreciate that. Okay, but to the northwest is where I interviewed R, and that's only about two miles the way a crow flies. It gives me a point A and a point B. Between those two points is a straight line that I can set my trap. <laughs> Willie's working on the trap now. Did the design work on it and everything. It's a good one. Right on back. Come on back. On back. That's good right there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We definitely have to bust ass and get this trap done. This is what I got right now. This is going to be a huge trap. We're looking at 1,200 pounds a week. We're building a drop trap, which consists of four sides and a top with an open body. And once we get that lifted into the air, get our trigger set down, we'll put a bait down on the other side of the trigger. And when he comes in after the bait, 
when Wolfman steps on the pedal, sets the trigger off, and the cage will drop straight to the ground. Wolfman's ours. We have to get this cage built and put it together. This cage has to be together tonight. By first thing of daylight, we want this cage to be set and in the air. Jeff has found someone that's actually heard this wolf creature. So I'm very, very interested in getting his story. I take it you're Jasper. I've been in the outdoors for probably 50 years. I hunt, I trap, I run snares, and I do it pretty much year round. Right over here, gentlemen. This is one more step in figuring out what this creature is, what his territory is, so we're closing in on him. I was up in this hollow running these snares. This was my first set. This is where I was at, started hearing what I thought was a wolf howl. I'd never heard anything quite like this, but I still went about the business. Started out of the hollow. I got up to the head of the hollow where I could check my last snare, and it was on top of this ridge howling. And that howl went from a howl to a roar. It was damn scary. Just a deep, deep noise. It wasn't a grunt or a blow or anything like that. No, Jeff, it went from a howl to a roar. Huh. On my way out of the hall, I saw a track that I'm not familiar with. That print was bigger than anything that I've ever seen in the woods. So I ripped out my cell phone. Oh, we got a picture. We got a picture. And it was taken in haste. Mercy. Man, that's a big track. We've been in here for two days now to investigate the Kentucky Wolfman. Jeff has found someone that's actually heard this wolf creature, and I believe he may even have a picture of a paw print. It's definitely a big canine, so this is pretty exciting. So I ripped out my cell phone. Oh, we got a picture. We got a picture, and it was taken in haste. Man, that's a big track. Mercy. But if from a picture, I can't tell how big it is. A big alpha wolf will make a track as big as that hand right there. Right. How big was it compared to my hand? Well, it's bigger than your hand. So we're probably talking about a creature that's in the 350 pound, even maybe a little bigger. We're talking about a big creature here. And he's definitely canine because I can see his toenail. He can't be a cat because a cat walks like that with his toenails in. It's not a bear track. It's not a cougar track. So it has to be a wolf creature track. Right. And uh, that's what we're going to try to find out. Yeah. We got his territory down to probably uh, a radius of one mile. Uh, so we're getting close. We're, we're, we're closing in on him. Come here. We had three eyewitnesses right in here in a triangular pattern. We're right in the center of that area. It's a perfect place for our trap. To get this drop cage up in the air, I have to run two cables between two trees and then run another cable through a pulley system to which lifts the cage up in the air. I got a rare good helper to help me, Wild Bill. Crazy guy. I don't know about crazy, but uh, I've been told that a time or two, but uh, I just got a different character than the normal person does. Hold that bucket, Gabe, all the way, and I'll descend down out of here, brother, right at a rapid speed of motion. Some people say I'm a little wired for sound. Once a Marine, always a Marine. Hoorah! <laughs> Next step to get this cage up in the air, we're going to hook it down to a pedal trigger. When he cuts that trigger down, that's it. That's the key to it. And then ease the cage off, take the safety off of it, and then we're going to bring a goat in. Come on, little Daisy. And then we're going to bait the goat down beside the pedal trigger. And then once the wait for something sets the trigger off, cage drop. Man's ours. Trapper, she's loaded. She's loaded, bro. Your words, your words he is ready to go. Right ready in there to set it off. I don't know it. That's stupid. What do you mean? Why is it stupid? All right. All right. Willie designed it. It'll work this way we said it worked. That's what concerns me is Willie designed it. <laughs> Have you ever seen us make a bad one? I'm, 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 I'll throw a rock. How's that? I'm a good rock thrower. I guess if you're afraid. Oh, I'm afraid. Fire, it's OK. Throw a rock. You're gonna miss it. You're gonna miss it. You're gonna miss it. I told you. I told you. Let's try it basketball style. You ready? Get it. Are you ready? I got it. I got it. Step back, rookie. You ready, Willie? Right. 
That right there should be good. It worked. He is a hard game, brother. I almost got a chubby on it with so much fun. Did you see old Buck? <laughs> it worked exactly the way that we designed it to work. Perfect. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Game five. Over the last three days, guys, we've been chasing wolf men in this country. What I want to do, we're going to do a little real easy scouting, real easy. I'm looking for footprints. Uh, the moss knocked off a log or an animal that side. The wolf man's big. He's going to leave some marks on it. I'm looking for those things. Plan now is we're going to set up in two teams. Uh, Wild Bill and Huckleberry's going up the left hand fork with me. Willie's taking Jeff and, and Buck up the right hand fork. Um, I got an extra rifle, Bill, if you need one. I don't need a rifle. I'm a weapon. I got a knife. You get him in the corner, and I'll go in there and slit his throat. OK. <laughs> <laughs> right there's a right there's a print. How many toes on that, Willie? It's got a two, three, four. Wow. It's a big track. This isn't the wolf man. I don't know what else it could be. I seen some tracks, some deer tracks, coon tracks, possum tracks. This is all his food source. So he's going to be coming right down here to eat again. He wakes up. He wakes up first. I'm not liking that, guys. Uh, you keep your eyes up that way. You can't be looking down the hollow. Got it. Keep tight, guys. How about it, Willie? What are you saying up that right hand fork? Uh, We're picking up a lot of small game tracks and stuff for us down into this water hole. And uh, Buck, Tina, a humongous track over here. Trapper, you got to come over and check this out. I'm telling you, this thing is the size of a coffee can. OK, we're headed that way. Huh? You look at that thing. The size of that, that pretty just got away. Five, six hundred pounds, don't will it? That's, uh, that thing's it. Looks to me. Yeah, see how the water's already seeped up through it? That's already good, yeah. Yeah, right here. We had a six-foot stride. From what he sunk down there, that's pretty firm ground. Let's see. Yeah, see, I'm not even making a print there of that gun. So he's got to be heavy. What we're going to do now, it's about 6 o'clock in the evening. We only got an hour of daylight. So we need to get back down to where this area we picked for a trap. And we'll make a funnel to funnel him right into our trap. I'm ready. OK, let's go. So we want to give him the path, least resistance, right into our trigger. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, good job. Good job, Bill. Perfect, perfect. I think we're going to catch us a big old critter. Come on up, bro. Huckleberry? Yeah, sir. Get that goat. <laughs> One Daisy girl. Didn't she cute? I ain't gonna let that son of a bitch get you, girl. If you will. This is a high resolution infrared camera, and we're setting it up tonight to be able to keep track of our goat bait. So if the wolf man comes into our trap, we'll be able to get an exact good quality picture of it. Okay. We've got the trap set. We have a bait in the, in the trap, and we're ready to go get him. OK, we all ready? Uh, I want to break up in the same teams we did the, this afternoon. We're going to get back on this ridge line. We've got to circle around in behind him. I believe he's up this holler right here. We're driving him down into this funnel we've made. Uh, Wolfman's going to come right down that holler, 
Then when he sees the bait here, he's going to run right up there and just stop dead right on that trigger plate. Once that trap comes around him, he's, he's going to completely forget about Daisy. <laughs> you don't want us to hold back till we hear the trap go off? Oh, no, no. I want you coming. He's going right. to be coming. Will you? Yeah, I want you coming. I want you coming around that hill like hell. Let's go. Let's get her done. Daisy, I'll be back. This. What is this? Is that a den entrance? Watch out, Buck. Maybe it's a vent hole for a cave. There's no way that could be an entrance or an exit. I don't know. Look at that right there. That's enough room right there for something. Hell, I could slide through that hole right there, Buck. I don't know. You know, I never thought about that son of a bitch might be able to go up a tree. He's definitely got the muscle mass to do it. You hear that? What was that? I heard something on out here. You hear it, Huckberry? I heard it. Trapper, you want us kind of do a little recon right up there and do a little circle right there and see if there's... Yeah, I'll hold here. All right. Be careful, guys. I got track, Trapper. Here we go, here we go. You see anything, Trevor? Right in here behind us. Get back down here. We need to get grouped back up. We got going on all around us. Oh, I can see way down in there. I'm definitely getting some heat coming out of the bottom of this hole. I've definitely seen something has been sliding in and out of this hole. I really can't see around where that root right there is. I'm just going to kind of look down in and poke my head. The hair standing up on the back of my neck. I'm a little concerned. Willie, whatever's in there is moving. Maybe down there about three feet to your right. OK. All right, you just got my back. I got your back. I'm going to have to take a peek, Jeff. OK, I got I'll you pull you out here. It's staying stationary right now. Ah, he went! Oh, my god. We're in Hazel Green, Kentucky, looking for this Kentucky wolf man. And we seen this hole that looked like a den of some sort. Oh, I can see way down in there. Willie went down into the hole. Whatever's in there is moving. All right, you just got my back. I got your back. I'm going to have to take a peek, Jeff. OK, I got I'll you pull you out here. It's staying stationary right now. Ah, it was! Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Get your back, guys. What's going on, Willie? I don't know. As soon as I got down into there, all I seen was a flash of fur. As soon as I was home, we'll blow its head off. I could see something moving in through there. Wasn't real sure what it was. Well, I don't have anything on the thermal now. I think it got up and moved. Scared the hell out of us, to be truth with you. Hey, Trapper, we just found a pretty good size entrance hole. You can see a lot of fur, something moving. I didn't get a very good look at it. I don't know. We're going to back out of here. And we're going to have to head down towards your way. Well, maybe we got two of them, because we had one in a tree. God, can you imagine if there's two of them? I think there is two. We had a creature in the right-hand fork, and we had a creature in the left-hand fork. So I think we had a male and a female. I'm, I'm seeing the same size track, so we may have two of them in. We have, may have two wolf creatures in here. It's not wolf men anymore. It's wolf men. I think it's toying with us. He didn't want to face off against us, though, did he? Not this time. But... No, yeah, 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 not this time. Yeah, like Huck said, not this time. <laughs> He's fast, isn't he? I mean, you. What was that? Listen. 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 That ain't no bear. <laughs> no, but I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> Be ready to throw some rounds down range. I've never heard nothing like that, dude. I'm from West Virginia. We don't have things like that around here. He's enormous. 
He controls the valley. It's his territory. That's what, that's what the roar was telling me. It wasn't an attack roar. Uh, uh, it was more like, get the f out. Willie, are you OK? Yes, Trapper. Jeff, me, and Buck, we're still OK, but we can definitely hear something. I don't know how close it is. I have never heard nothing like that. I've been in the woods all my life since I was just a child. And I have never in my life ever encountered something of sound like that. He's closer to you than he is to us. He's not going to be close to us because we're coming to you, Trapper. We're on our way. OK, we'll meet you in the bottom of the hollow. Come on, Jeff. Screw this. What was it, Will? I don't know. <laughs> Sound like it was much higher on the ridge than where we was at. I thought it was a lot closer to you than it was us. It was. Yeah, it definitely was. Was there one or two? You said you had one the trap, and that no, thing. No, well, no. We had one up first. What mean? Huh? Hey, He's early as again. Can you get anything on that infrared, Jeff? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting something on the crest of the hill, guys. Rapper, come here and look. Yeah, check this out right up here. Look at this. Look at this. He just got horse. I mean, he's big. It's moving. Uh, what was that? I don't know. Come from that direction over there. Look, look, look. It ain't happy. Keep your eyes open. And do I have a couple of volunteers up here flushing? In the middle of the hill. We'll try to flush it in, in towards the trap. Easy, guys. Easy. You see anything, Will? This is about where Jeff is, man. It, they're right on top of it. There it is. See, there it is. Now, is that them? Or is that no, it? no, that isn't them. That isn't them. Hey, Trapper, where's he at? Where did he go? Trapper, where did he go? Where'd he go? I need to go left or right. He was right here on high get out at easy. I can't see nothing. He's off the thermal. He's right here. We better come back in. Because I can't see it down. I don't know where it's at. Hold up, hold up. I don't know. Something just took over the hill. Went straight to the holler. Oh. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it, yeah. Went right down through there, past that shaking tree right there. I think I see the wolf man. I just got a glimpse. Trapper, where's he at? Where did he go? It looks like to me we're right on the trail of the wolf man. But we're a couple steps behind. Trapper, where'd he go? We seen something up on the hill on the thermo, and we sent Willie and Bill up there. He's off the thermal. I think I see the wolf man. I just got a glimpse. I think it took off, went straight into the hollow. OK, get back in the group. Come on. I got a small glimpse of it. My goodness. Humongous. We have him on the move, the direction we damn well want him to go. We're pushing him right towards the trap. It's going to end right now. What's the plan, Trapper? What are we going to do? Let's get out of here, get the ATVs, and get to the trap. Get in, let's go. We have Wolfman on our left. We have Wolfman on our right. We have to get to the trap. So we got on the ATVs and just hauled it all the way back to the trap. What's going on? Cage is still up. Cage is still up. He never said it all. You see anything? That I don't think we got anything no here, anything. Trapper. Look, we saw tracks or anything over a Trapper. See if it, he come through down this way or anything. Daisy looks like she's OK. Where'd you set the camera up at, Jeff? I got it over here. You want me to check it? Yeah. Yeah, check it. See what, see if we got anything on it. Let's take the gander, see if we can't find a track down there somewhere. I think it came right, it come right up right through here. here somewhere. I think it was right here. He was close right here. Yeah, right there. Right there he stepped. 
He stepped right you got, here. You got it over tra trap? He stepped right there. Yeah, I see one right here too. Yeah, he's making that, he's making that about. Look there, what one? Holy cow! Look at there. Come uh -huh. on the track, brother. Wow, that walked right in front of the camera. Yeah, yeah look right here. Right here he is. Right there. Oh, I see it right. See it right there. Right here's real good print. Right there. There everything going on. Man, that is one humongous animal. We got two of them here. We almost had them. Let me play it back here, guys. Look at this. We got something? We'll have something here. Hear it? Yeah. Hear it? Yeah. Listen, 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 listen. Shh, listen. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, shit. She's scared. Look at her. Shh, shh. Oh, 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 oh. What is that? What is that? That's hair right there. Yeah. On the edge. You see first. Oh, oh. Right there, it's coming from the camera. Look at the size. Keep watching, keep watching. Yeah. Huge. Mm. Circle right through there. Yeah, right right keep right watching, keep watching. Right it's circled right, right here. Goat, right? Didn't even show any interest. Must be definitely must be a smart a smart creature. Let me see that again. All right. Yeah, back up. See, we can take another. One. It'll take off. It was actually just sneaking up on it. This cryptid creature is taunting. We just got a big image of something that crossed right in front of the camera. That son of a bitch walked past that goat on two legs. I never seen nothing like that before in my entire life. Oh, goodness. Had that trigger set the wrong way. If we had that trigger set to he that side, if we had that trigger set to this side, we'd had him. This is not the wolf man we was after. We was after a wolf man that was, was, was up this right hand branch. This is the one that came in from the back side. If it had come in the way we thought we would have, we, we'd have got him. You see, he came up around this log here, up around this side. Based on our investigations, here's what we know about the wolf man. The first thing was, the wolf man is a big son of a bitch. I definitely wanted to come face to face with him. I wanted to put his old hide on the wall. We've got his tracks in here. We have markings from him. We have where he's turning over rocks. We've seen it. We've heard it. We've got it on film. It is a badass monster. It is impressive. It's just the best evidence I've seen in a long time. Real concrete stuff. Another thing to be smart, that he missed my trigger, and I had that trigger camoed good. I've dealt with wolves. I've dealt with coyotes. I've dealt with, with fox. This wolf man, I'm telling you, he's just super smart. Has to be. I think he just plumb out smart in this. Absolutely no doubt in my mind that uh, the wolf man lives right here in this forest. Knowing that there's a creature like this out here, it really makes me wonder what else is out there.